Remember Metal Mario? It was a power-up in Super Mario 64 that turned Mario's body completely into metal, though he can still somehow move around just fine. It made him really heavy, meaning he could walk around at the bottom of a body of water. Soon after this, Metal Mario was also brought into the original Super Smash Bros. game as a mini-boss sort of character to fight in classic mode. And much more recently, Mario Kart 8 brought Metal Mario back because Nintendo was too lazy to make anything more than a reskin with altered stats. And they did the same with Pink Gold Peach too. But while Pink Gold Peach is easy to figure out, what type of metal is Metal Mario? That's the question we are answering today on Noggin. Even if Metal Mario is magical living metal that couldn't exist in real life, I at least want to know what kind of metal he's most similar to. So for starters, I feel like Metal Mario in Mario Kart would be the best one to work with. It's the most topical, and it has some level of reference to weight. He seems to be a general clone to Mario with the same animations. The only major difference is that he is heavier. At least, he's a constant contestant who shows up just to ruin Bowser's reign on being heavyweight champion. So let's use statistics from Mario Kart to get a basis of the metal to properly identify the alloy. Looking at these will also help because this is the only instance of Pink Gold Peach, who, based on the name and hue, is some sort of living pink gold. So let's look at the raw stats of the racers compared to the metal versions of themselves, all while using the standard kart, standard wheels, and standard glider. So both metal versions have the same weight, which mm, complicates things a bit, but now let's look at the character's data without carts. So, Metal Mario and Pink Gold Peach still weigh the same, but Normal Mario and Normal Peach don't. Interesting. And unless we assume Pink Gold Peach is actually Pink Gold, determining the metal of Mario is going to be immensely more complicated. So if we do assume Pink Gold Peach is Pink Gold, which, why wouldn't we, then we can use that to find out what Mario is from deduction. So first we will need to find Peach's density, both metal and non-metal, so that we can find the volume. Pink gold is an alloy of gold and copper mixed to produce a pinkish hue. Sometimes silver is thrown in there also. This actually makes the gold worth less than pure gold, which is why pink gold is cheaper than, say, white gold, as white gold uses palladium, a much more expensive metal. The exact mixture of gold and copper changes based on hue and what the smith wants the color to be. If we only knew what carrot she was, we could easily identify the total gold and copper amounts, but unfortunately we will need to go off of the color. Carrot is how many parts of the mix are gold, up to 24 being 99.9%, .9%. so 18 carrots would be 18 parts gold and 6 parts alloy. Most 18 karat pink gold is a mix of 75% gold, 20% copper, and 5% silver. Any higher carat would be too soft for even jewelry, and this is a race cart driver. She'd get so many dents! Also 18 carats is a bit more yellow, almost a brighter pink. Way brighter and softer than our pink gold beach. Her color is much more similar to 14 karat pink gold, also known as rose gold. This metal has darker hues and is much stronger as it is less gold and more alloy. 14 karat gold is the standard for jewelry as it has enough alloys to not tarnish and makes it durable enough for everyday use. The normal 14 karat gold is 58.3% pure gold, while the remaining 46.7% are alloys depending on the jeweler's discretion for the color wanted. A common warmer color that we see in Pink Gold Peach is more rose with a possible 36% copper, 2.5% silver, and 1% zinc. The zinc is used as an anti-corrosive agent to prevent the copper and silver from tarnishing over its lifespan. The silver is used to increase malleability of the metal, as silver is quite an easy metal to smith. So now that we know the metals and the percentages, we can start getting weights and compare them. First, we need Peach's normal weight, and then her metal weight in real units. Thankfully, Nintendo officiated a life-size statue of Mario, which happens to be 5 foot 1. And there is also this poster that looks at the models directly. Though the proportions change from game to game, this at least gives us a rough estimate. Really, that's what you should consider this whole video. A huge rough estimate. And with these heights, we can get these weights. Peach is 186 centimeters, or 6'1", and Mario is 155 centimeters, 5'1". So if we base the weight on a healthy person on their height and age, wait, age, how old are these two? 
Well, Miyamoto has revealed that Mario is in fact 24 years old, with Peach not far behind. Some estimate that she is 23, like Forbes, but let's just say we have two 24-year-olds. Peach is 6'1 and 24, so her ideal healthy weight is between 140 and 190 pounds. Or, for simplicity, we will go with 165 pounds, or 74.85 kilograms, or just, let's just go with 75 kilograms. Mario, coming in only at 5'1", should weigh 100 to 132 pounds, but let's be honest here, he isn't ideal. He is certainly a bit bigger than a healthy weight. Just look at that gut. Though based on his feats, he must also be quite muscular underneath all that flab. So I suppose we could go with 132 pounds, or 60 kilograms. So how do these compare to the in-game weights? Mario weighs 6 units and Peach weighs 4 units. And that's... That's not right, is it? That means Mario weighs 50% more than Peach, and that's... That's pretty drastic. Well, we just did the math. Maybe Mario is more overweight than we thought. Well, muscle is heavier than fat. If we use Peach as the base, as she appears to be a healthy human, a bit thin if anything, and Mario is 50% heavier than her, that would make Mario 112 kilograms. So let's work with both of these numbers to get a more canon via game mechanics weight and use 60 kilograms for the more realistic weight. Pink Gold Peach in Mario Kart 8 is a weight of 10 units, while Peach is 4. So that means there is a total of 250% in weight change. So Pink Gold Peach weighs 75 kilograms times 250%, 187.5 kilograms. Well then, first I'd like to say that this is going to be impossible, as Pink Gold Peach is the same size as Peach, but only 250% heavier. Meanwhile, gold is much more dense than a human. Hmm. The average human density is 985 kilograms kilograms per cubic meter. So we enter that into the equation density equals mass over volume, where we need volume, so we get volume equals mass over density. Volume equals 75 kilograms over 985 kilograms per cubic meter. Plugging the numbers in, volume equals 0.0761 cubic meters. And in case you can't imagine cubic meters, this is about equivalent to 76.1 liters or 20.1 gallons. So now we can take the densities of gold, copper, silver, and zinc and use them to find the overall weight. So let's put everything into our equation now that we have two variables. We have volume equaling 0.0761 cubic meters, so that times this would be mass, meaning mass equals 1468.73 kilograms. But that is if she were completely gold, when she's really only 58.3% gold. So we take 58.3% of the total volume and we get 0 0.0443 meters cubed times 19,300 equals 854.99 kilograms in gold mass. Now we need copper's volume, 36.5% of 0.0761 cubic meters, which means we get 0.0277 cubic meters, and times that by the density of copper, which is 8,960 kilograms per cubic meter, and we get 248.19 kilograms of copper mass. Next is the silver, with a density of 10,490 kilograms per cubic meter and 3.7% of mass. So 0.0028 cubic meters times 10,490 kilograms per cubic meter equals mass. So boom, boom, boom. Finally, we need zinc's volume of 1.5% total and a density of 8,960. Bada bing, bada boom. This gives us the total weight of pink gold peach. We add up all the masses of each type of metal, and we get 1,142.77 kilograms. So the weight that Mario Kart states is that she is only 250% heavier at 187.5 kilograms, but if she was made of pink gold, she weighs 1,520% more than her original weight. That's about 1,000 kilograms off of the weight stated, so this is most likely due to gameplay mechanics, as this would put her in the heaviest weight class by herself. DK certainly is a large heavyweight, and he only weighs 362 kilograms, meaning Pink Gold Peach would weigh 3.15 times more than a gorilla. So if we go based of Mario Kart, Metal Mario is the same weight as Pink Gold Peach, so his mass should be 1,142.77 kilograms, not 187.5 kilograms, but you know, gameplay mechanics. And his volume is going to be based off the non-Metal Mario's height and weight. First, we will do the realistic weight of 60 kilograms to get the volume of an average man his size. 
His cannon weight is 50% more than Peach's, almost two times the weight of a healthy male of his age and height. We take the average density of a human, 985 kilograms per cubic meter, and do this. So his realistic size with realistic weight is 0 0.06 cubic meters, or 15 gallons. This is smaller than Peach, but that makes a bit of sense as he is much shorter than her, so there is realistically less of him, vertically at least. So now we do his volume if he were his cannon weight of 112 kilograms. Boom, pow! This means he displaces about 30 gallons or 113 liters. That's half of an average bathtub. Well, continuing with our massive manlet, we can find density based on these two variables. Remember, our weight is the same as Peach based off of Mario Kart 8, so our mass is 1,142.77 kilograms. First we do his cannon size, the half of a bathtub one. Wah, wah, wah. 10,113 kilograms per cubic meter. That's about the density of silver or molybdenum. Now, for the realistic human equation, we take this density, which equals 19,046. This density is similar to uranium and tungsten, the same as gold. I feel like tungsten would be a lot more suitable here, since Metal Mario does not emit radiation that we know of. But wait, what about this whole canon canon versus realistic canon thing? We can do this quick, just replace the mass in our density formula for both to get the respective values. The canon canon, whatever that means, is about the density of magnesium. And next is realistic Mario with canon weight, which is about the density of aluminum, possibly a mix of aluminum with steel. Metal Mario's feats are that he's heavier than water and thus he sinks, and he walks with a very heavy tread. All of these metals are much more heavier than water, and would cause a normal person to walk much slower, that is, if you could even live as metal. None of these metals are really easy to bend, so I'm not sure how you would be able to move, but hey, it's a game. So for what Metal Mario is made of based off Pink Gold Peach being Pink Gold, we can deduce that he is one of four metals, or an alloy consisting of these four. Aluminum, tungsten, magnesium, and silver molybdenum. I'm leaning much more towards tungsten, as it's the most realistic both in volume and weight, where magnesium is the most unrealistic. Aluminum is known for being light and silver. Molybdenum seems too shiny to be this dark metal that Mario is made of, and if we take titanium and metal Mario side by side, the colors are quite similar though there are some variations between games. He could also be just a mix of a bunch of metals, but with what little information we have, it would technically be impossible to find out. So, Metal Mario is magically living in magically malleable tungsten titanium, possibly mixed with a few others. So, the more you know, and knowing is half the battle, so take that bit of information and use it to improve your life somehow. And until next time, please remember to never stop using your noggin.